September 13th, the incredibly important day for Social Security, including retirement, disability, SSDI, survivors, SSI, and VA beneficiaries as the second piece of the puzzle will be released. I have all the details and what you need to know right here in the video, so let's get right into it. I know in this video, I do want to focus on September 13th as we will be getting an incredibly important announcement which will impact about 70 million beneficiaries and the checks of the 70 million beneficiaries as well. This is a pretty important announcement coming out on this day and I want to point out all the details for you so you can understand what this means and how this is the second piece of the puzzle. And again, I'll break all that down for you right here in this video. Let's get right into it. First off, before we do, thanks so much for joining me. If you're new here or if you haven't done so yet, please make sure to subscribe right down below the video. Also, as long as you're right down below the video, make sure to like the video and of course, share this one with your friends, family, and social media so we can continue to help out and reach as many people as we can right now as things are changing rapidly and we know it's a very busy, confusing, and uncertain time we're currently living through and I'll continue to be here for you every single day no matter what. That's my promise, my dedication, and my commitment to you and everybody right here in the community. All right, thanks so much. Please subscribe down below and let's get into it and talk about September 13th, what is coming out on this day and how does it impact 70 million beneficiaries who do receive those benefits administered by the Social Security Administration and again, your monthly checks in a pretty big way, right? All right, so let me break down the details of this. So the morning of September 13th, we will be getting the announcement of the latest inflation data for last month, okay? The month of August. So remember, this information is released once per month, generally right around the middle of the month for the previous month. So last month, about a month ago in mid-August, we got the last announcement for the inflation data for the month of July, okay? That was very important as well. Remember, the inflation data out of the three months, July, August, and September, are the months that we wanna continue watching very closely because these are the ones that determine how much the COLA raise is going to be next year in 2024 for 70 million people, okay? Now, here's one more thing that I want to point out. There's some misconceptions going on out there that say, September, this announcement where we're going to begin on the 13th is the last announcement. Wrong. No, it's not. This is not the last announcement. This is the second announcement because this information is delayed, you know, a few weeks. So in about a month from right now is when we'll be getting the final announcement for the, the last uh, inflation data piece that we need to determine how much this is going to be. Now, the piece of information that we got about a month ago gave us piece number one of the puzzle. Remember, this is a three-piece puzzle. We have three pieces of the puzzle. We have one piece in our possession already. Piece number two will be coming out the morning of the 13th and we'll be getting piece number two. Once we get that piece of data, we should be able to narrow this down pretty close to determine how much the COLA will be for next year, 2024. We can probably narrow it down to within a few tenths of 1%, okay? So maybe within... I don't know, two to three tenths of 1%, we should be able to narrow this thing down very, very close. Now, obviously we won't be able to speculate and get it right on. I mean, maybe we could guess close, but we can get very, very close. And then again, in about a month, we will get that official announcement as well. So we're like right on the brink of this, okay? We're very, very close. Now, a couple of things I wanna point out for you really quickly. This is the inflation data. And again, remember the number that they release right away in the morning of the 13th is the headline number, okay? When they give us the announcement, they say inflation is at whatever ambiguous, you know, uh, exaggerated, you know, poorly represented number that they give us, which by the way, the numbers that they tell us are, you know, they're just, they are what they are. They're not that accurate, okay? We've talked about this many times before, but whatever number they give us is going to be the headline number. We don't care about the headline number. Well, okay, let me be fair. We care about the headline number because it impacts all of us as far as what inflation is doing. As far as what it comes down to in regards to the COLA for fixed income benefits, we want to look at the CPIW. We've got to look into the report a little bit. There's a lot of different uh, inflation data pieces within the report. We want to dig through it and find the CPIW. That's the key number that we want to find, okay? By the way, CPI, I've mentioned it many, uh, many times before in other videos, it stands for Consumer Price Index for, the, for Urban Wage Earners and Clerical Workers. That's what that stands for, okay? And again, not a great representation of fixed income beneficiaries, but this is what they use to determine how much the COLA is going to be, okay? So data piece number two, piece number two of the three-piece puzzle will be released on the morning of the 13th. And again, this is pretty big stuff. Now remember, a year ago, at this same time a year ago, inflation was well in the mid 8% range. Do you remember that? 
I mean, seriously, how could we forget it, right? That was rough. That was a super rough time out there. Inflation was very high. It was coming down super slow. Well, was it really even coming down at all, right? I think we can all probably think, ah, I don't really think it was coming down at all, right? But here's the thing. Last year, at this exact same time, inflation was well over 8%. We were getting these numbers out and the, the speculations, the anticipation was very, very high because we knew that that cola was going to be big, right? At the time, there were estimations that the cola could have been over 10%. Do you remember that? Well, obviously, we got nowhere near 10%. We got 8.7%, but again, not bad, right? I mean, this is the biggest cola this year in 2023 that we got since 1980, what was it, 1981, so what, what is that 42 years ago right so again long long time ago but we're not going to see an 8.7 percent cola i can guarantee you we will not see an 8.7 percent uh, cola we might see two and a half to three and a half percent range okay it's going to be a lot less than what we got this year in 2023 but do we want to know what that's going to be yeah we certainly want to know remember this much as well in 2021 it was 1.3 percent how pathetic right 1.3 I think if they announced 1.3% today or, you know, in about a month from now, I think we would all be incredibly insulted. I mean, like beyond insulted, right? It's not going to be 1.3% either, unless some things change very, very dramatically here with this report and the next one in about a month. I just don't foresee 1% or sorry, 1.3% either. I anticipate between two and a half and three and a half on the low end to the high end, somewhere within that range would be the estimation as of now. But when we get this official announcement here uh, very, very soon on the 13th, again, that'll be the day or that'll be the number in which will give us a much better perspective and where we're actually sitting. So this would be pretty big stuff here, okay? This is very, very important stuff. We are right here in the middle of this. And again, we'll be getting this announcement. So this is what it comes down to. Here we are, can you believe it? Can you believe that we are here now already this late into the year? craziness, right? And then about a week after this announcement, what do we get then? We get the official start of fall. I mean, seriously, right? Wh where is summer going? <laughs> you know what I mean? It's just nuts how fast this stuff goes by. But here we are. Before we know it, it's going to be um, holidays and like shopping and stuff. Shopping with what money, right? I don't really know. So anyway, we'll cover all that when we get to that point. But seriously, that's coming really fast too as well, right? Anyway, big stuff here, big announcement, and uh, piece number two of this puzzle. Been talking about this for a while now, and again, if you hear other people out there talking about, this is the final piece, no it's not. No, it's not. This inflation data is delayed a couple weeks, okay? It comes out in the middle of the month for the previous month. The piece that we'll be, we will be getting on the 13th is for the month of August. A month ago, we got July. In a month from now, we will be getting September. Those are the three pieces that we need. July, August, and September. September is not done yet. Therefore, uh, this inflation data will be released in about a month's time or so, give or take a couple days. So anyway, hope this one helps you. Again, I will watch this very closely. As soon as we get that information, of course, I'll dig through the report as I always do. And I'll come back with you and I'll keep you updated with what's going on as far as what the inflation report is telling us besides uh, inflating the truth. You know what I mean? That's what these reports generally do is, you know, inflate all over the place. But I'll bring you back the truth here in these videos. I'll break it down, let you know what's really going on with inflation, what is going on under the hood with that uh, report that they're not telling us, as I do every single month. And then, of course, I'll break down the inflation data as far as what the latest data is showing, as far as the latest projections and things like that, as far as what they're projecting uh, the COLA to be for next year, 2024. It's going to be some pretty big stuff here. Anyway, I'm here for you in any way that I can be. Please make sure to subscribe down below if you haven't done so yet. Share the video with your friends, family, social media, and go back and check out any of the other thousands of videos here on the channel. Until next time, enjoy your day. Take care. Have a good one. And I'll catch you again later. In the